Welcome back, ladies and gentle beings, to another relaxing and heartfelt Kingdom Hearts related stream. I'm Gamma, and welcome back to Re Chain of Memories, a game that's all about playing the original Kingdom Hearts with cards! Because that's just a fun thing. Yes, I'm Gamma, and in the previous stream we started off this, uh, this unique game in the series. We did a couple of worlds, we did Twilight Town, we did Agrabah, and we did, uh, the, 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 the whale. That was the other one. Um, and, uh, discovered quite a lot of interesting things. Such as the fact that, uh, the place that they've gone into, Castle Oblivion, is uh, not your everyday Mario castle. In fact, this place is a little scary because when you go inside, uh, your brain essentially gets slowly but steadily turned into, uh, some nice thin, uh, paste. And, uh, that seems to be what's happening with Sora over here, as his memories are ever so subtly getting meddled with by an unknown force. Could it possibly be that little girl that's writing things in crayon? There's only one way to find out, and that is to continue playing. Full disclosure, uh, as you are probably noticing with your astute eyes, that I am actually in Olympus Coliseum. That's because I actually proceeded to just go ahead and do that, uh, off-stream. Mainly because these worlds are, for the most part, just the original Kingdom Hearts worlds. Um, with very little alteration, just a lot more abridged. And so, I figured, you know what, it's pr uh, well, I, I figured, and also at the suggestion of, of Blind Daga, also, that it's probably just a good idea to, to do one of these worlds off-screen just because of how much nothing they generally tend to be, and just kind of start off on a story beat, which I was kind of okay with, but that also kind of led to some frustrating things, so I don't know if I'll do that again, but, uh... Or maybe I'll, uh, or maybe I'll just save the next story beat for the next stream, although I feel that's kind of cheaty. I, I, I like edit, I, I like ending these streams off on a progressive note, so... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do next week, but, like, uh... All, all, all I'll say is, fuck you, Hades, and fuck you, Cloud. I'm glad I got your cards. In fact, I should actually go and see what those cards do. Um, Let's see what we got here. What do we got for our cards? Uh, Cloud. Cloud unleashes two successive sword attacks. That sounds fun. How much... Oh, you, you were worth 31 points. And I also got... Uh, I'm pretty... Yeah, I also got Hades. Uh, boost the power of attacks... Po uh, when it, of attack cards when low on HP. I don't know if I want to use in a pinch slash crisis base cards, so... Okay, uh, where is my... Oh, I'm actually in the deck manager, that's why. Ah! I am, like, pushing all the wrong buttons right now. Um... There we go. There we go! There's deck number one. Um... Okay. Now, what do we got here? Let's see. Oh, yes, I also have, like, Blizzard cards. Um... Actually, that's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm actually just gonna save... I'm gonna save a video clip, because I'm pretty sure... Because, yeah, I, I actually did save my, uh, my fight against Cloud, so assuming that it's still left in the buffer after this thing has been kind of on pause for a little while. Um, in the menu, obviously, not in, like, in the dashboard. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show those later, but, uh, right now, I do think it's about time that we, uh get it on, but first, let's actually take a look at the other card. Oh, that's right, Hades. I don't want to use Hades. Hades does not sound very fun, but I might equip Cloud at some point. I heard he's okay if you can actually get his thing to connect, but right now, let's get back to the castle. Who could that have been before? In my memory. It wasn't Kyrie. But another... girl? Maybe... I think her name was... Aerith! Yeah. Sora from Digimon! Um, sure. I mean, Sora was pretty cute. Man. In Digimon. Was right on the tip of my tongue. Fucking tie. <laughs> Alright. So now we're back here. We're back in the we're back in the void. It 
was all about season two, Kari, for you. Welcome, Blind Dogga. That's... That, that is a universally agreed upon fact. I also agree upon that fact. But Sora wasn't that bad either. Then there was Mimi. She... She, 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 she probably has something that you don't want to have. I remember. Eh? There was another girl. What? A girl? Where? No, no. I mean on the islands where I used to live. Yeah, Selfie. Besides Kyrie and Riku, there was one other girl I was friends with. Selfie. The four of us played together all the time. You beat her up. Seems to me, that's the first time you've mentioned her. Yeah, I guess I forgot all about her. I think she just suddenly went away when I was still really little. What do you think makes you remember that now? I'm not sure, but it's been coming back in pieces as we go through the castle. Of course, do you remember her name? I don't remember. Selfie! I feel kinda dumb. I'm gonna keep saying that. We said we weren't gonna forget our friends. And well now, I can't even remember her name. Sarah! Maybe she was a bitch. Oh, you shouldn't be worrying none. If it's been coming back to you in pieces, you're sure to remember her name just like everything else. Maybe she was just a piece of shit and not worth remembering, you know? You do end up running into toxic people like that in real life. I mean, I wish I could forget Pete. He was a dickhead. Like a real dickhead. And a bad neighbor. Oh, so that was it? No, no organization shenanigans? Aw, I'm sad. Alright, well, let's see. We got Wonderland... And Halloween Town. Why don't we get the Wonderland theme stuck in our head again? It's not nearly as bad as Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, but it still drills into your head and stays there for as long as it wants. I need to. Oh, oh my door is already ever so slightly open. I will open it even more. Hey, somebody's coming! Oh my god, I'm... I, I, I don't know if I can do the, the... the... the white rabbit's voice, but... Oh, I'm late! I'm late! I'm dreadfully, awfully late! The queen will roast bite me for dinner! <laughs> oh... Wonderland's got some pretty entertaining edit <laughs> Entertaining? Some pretty irritating enemies. What do you mean, off with your head? Oh, my fur and whiskers! I'll never make it! Well, eventually we have to go through with them, so... Off with his head?! What, is she gonna make rabbit stew? Are we in China? Anywho, um... For such a peaceful-looking place, it sounds pretty dangerous. I think that was Donald, but I don't know. Either way, key beginnings. Now, I made a little bit of a fatal mistake when I was off camera traipsing through Olympus, and that was kind of rushing through it and not unlocking all the rooms because I just wanted to get it done so I could do things. I want. Oh, uh, you want Rabbit and the White Rabbit to chill together? You would- I wonder- I wonder how, uh, how confusing the naming would be. They would have to- Oh, wow, I can- I'm gonna slight two Donalds together. Just because I can. Oh! He doesn't- he doesn't read summon. That's... Smart. I guess it just boosts his attacks ever so slightly. Oh, what the heck was that move, even? Oh yeah, I have like a million Blizzard cards now. Maybe I should take them off and put something else in there, but right now- Oh, no, no. Uh, Symbol will not yell at people. 
And all of my reload cards will just break. Okay. Uh, you don't know if you- if I knew this, but you can attack Heartless before the battles to stun them and get a few extra hits on them. Yes, I actually do try to do that as much as I can. I am pretty aware of that. Also very effective is throwing things at them before, uh, triggering the battle, if there are throwable objects nearby. Freeze. Freeze. Stay cool! Yeah, I kind of had all these freeze items uh, in place for fighting Hades, so I should probably take them out and, uh... ...put some other useful things in there. I might keep, like, one of them in, though. Maybe. Yeah, I'll keep one of them in, but I am going to give myself a little extra card space. Ooh! ooh. I actually obtained a level 6 heal card! That sounds like a thing that should be... Uh, uh... Okay, there we go. Keep accidentally switching, uh, decks. Keep switching deck configs by mistake. Oh, wait. So, wait, where did that heal go? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It... It only showed up because I was, uh, in a different deck view. My bad. I thought I picked up a new healing card. Um... Now, you actually said that Cloud is a pretty decent card if you can get his hit in there, so I'm actually gonna throw him in there, I think. And I still have quite a good amount of, uh, cards left, so... What else can we throw in here? Uh... Ooh, another... Ooh, a high potion. Quickly heal... Uh, quickly relieves all attack cards. How is that different from, uh, the regular potion? Oh! It reloads all attack cards! The other one only reloads... Okay, so that probably includes my premium cards, so yes, please. I will have this in my deck and my... Uh, except it's extremely expensive. Okay, um... Oh yeah, 48 points. I don't have that space right now. If I want to keep all my other cards in here. Um... Maybe I'll just leave it as is and then just level up my CP some more when I level up again. Oh, good. So, the Mushroom Jumps are still here. Oh, speaking of leveling up... That just happened! You know what, it's a little... it's a little over... Uh, now we'll just Blizzard you. Except we won't, because it just went the other way. Uh... Oh, fine, we'll reload. There we go. Now you're dead. Tranquil Darkness. More CP, please. I should really start increasing my HP a little bit, but... I like having a big... I, li I like being able to, to, to get powerful cards in there, and then I just... I totally didn't see that Heartless there. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention uh, hard enough, but do you ever get penalties for them making contact with you first? Power. Except that cloud card is pretty weak, it's only level 4. Probably best used in slights. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I hear everyone else pronounce it that way, so I, I, I want to say that that's how you pronounce it. Oh hey, level 9 Donald, sure. I should really just start spamming Jafar, because there's no battle limit to him. Alright, so, first door of the level, maybe. No? Uh... 
Okay. It's just kind of there and overgrown. Um... How would... How would... Ah! I did not see that heartless. Regular heart... Oh, no. Fatties. Okay. Let's make this one quick. Goofy! Or not. Whoops. I thought I put Cloud in there. Power. Okay, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty nice. So I guess the thing that you want to do is just make sure that that's in play when uh, you're close to somebody. Uh-oh. I saw musical notes, which probably means that healing was happening. Is that a rabbit heartless? Power. I think that was a rabbit heartless. I have a feeling that might have been the enemy that you were talking about. Just a sneaking suspicion. Ah, uh, the nice thing I like about magic which might actually make me put my blizzards back in, is the fact that, uh, Fatty over here seems to not be able to block ice magic anyway with his, uh, armor plating. Oh, do I have to... Is there gonna be, like, weird flower puzzles again? 126 Moogle points. I should really go and buy a mixed deck at some point. Ooh, present. Health! Yeah. Tasty, tasty health. Yeah. How do I get rid of this, uh, this growth that's kind of blocking the door? Or can I? Uh... Oh wait, there are several pathways through here. I'm just not seeing the other one. Oh no, there's the other one, but it's also blocked off. Do I gotta beat up this tree? I do have to beat up that tree. That's weird. Alright, so that way is the way that I don't want to go, but I want to go here. I want to actually get all these rooms going, so... Let's start this off, as usual, with a save room. <laughs> wow, there's like, presents all over this place. So interesting actually going back to this game and hearing the MIDI versions of all the songs. Um, okay, and with that save done, let's um <laughs> Can't use a treasure room. Have to get a five card at least. Um Eating grounds. Yeah, sure, that, we got a level 5 one of those. Makes it so that when we summon friends, they do even more effective things. What? Uh oh. That dude shot a projectile. It missed me, but I saw it fly by, and I'm going to assume that that probably causes uh ohs to happen when uh, they connect. That's right, Donald. Shoot fire at those plants! That is a thing that you should cast fire on, and not Hades. Courage. Cloud is not a good card to summon on his own. Hey! I was trying to insta-reload my deck, man! Come on!
Anything to keep me from having to uh, manually reload and basically stand still for several seconds. Especially during boss fights. Yeah, there you go, Goofy. That's the stuff. Come here. Roar. Freeze. Goofy. Boy, oh. This is so overkill. Sweet moments reprieve. Another save card. Saving that for the next world. Wow, that fatty just took it. Took it like a champ! Ah, he actually managed to do some damage before he got cancelled, so I ain't salty about that at all. Oh wow, that really does mess people up. Roar! A level 7 treasure room. Well, that took a while to load back into the main screen. Wait. That f that that plant on the wall just randomly shoots things? Oh, I hope that doesn't do anything bad if it hits me. I'm just gonna play it safe and not chance it, if I possibly can. You little flowers are no match for my key cards. I don't think I noticed this. Like, I mentioned this when I was playing last week, but like, one thing that I noticed that I'm actually kind of appreciating is that every once in a while, um, a little uh, thing will just pop up on the left telling me how much more experience until the next level hits. Okay, one more, one more card point boost, and then I swear to god I'm gonna start working on my hit points. Because that's probably going to be really hell. I got 500 CP now, so that should be okay for a bit anyway. So why don't we, uh, Lantern Flash, hey, what is up? Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, um, I was gonna, uh, uh equip this high potion, because that way my premium cards will reload. And that's nice. And I have enough points left over for some other goodie. Um... Defects... F hmm. What are you... Okay, you're 40 points. I don't have enough for you, but... You intrigue me, Mr. Uh, large Body Card. Deflects frontal physical attacks and completely nullifies damage. Uh, for a full reload. Um... I might put you in there at some point. 
Maybe I'll just throw in some extra p Ooh, yeah, I'll throw in a 7. A non-premium 7. Uh... Kingdom Key. Sorry, no, it's a Wishing Star. Uh... Even better. Um, and I'll put you in that blank spot next to, uh... My level 6 attack. Okay, there we go. Oh shit, and then I dis- well, then I put a card away. And I did not want to do that. Um... How's it going, Lantern? You're just in time to watch more... cards. I keep forgetting that there's actually a mini-map on the top right. Alright, so now that we got that done, why don't we, uh, use one of our red cards? Um... Sleeping Darkness. It's exactly worth six points. I forget, Lantern, have you ever gotten into this series? This is different. This is based on a Game Boy- well, this- this originally was a Game Boy Advance game, but it got ported over to kind of put it in line with the, uh, the rest of the series, but it's funky gameplay, uh, stayed intact, which basically used a customizable card system to determine all the actions that you could perform, which includes attacking, using magic, summoning people, using items, all that fun stuff. It's, uh, it requires a lot more brain power, uh, for sure. Um, and it can get kind of annoying, especially if you are trying to just kind of beat up enemies. You have never gotten into the series yet. Well, I'm playing through all of them if you feel like observing that. You can fill you in on the essentials. Yeah, you cancelled my card right when it finished. <laughs> that was that, that was cute of you. Go, Genie Jafar, go! Make my attacks unbreakable. Eh, it took the second for that Heartless to wake up. But yeah, this is the, this is technically the second game in the series. You're planning on eventually playing it, but you still gotta finish your other games first. Yep, that is the struggle. I'm planning on going through all of these, too, so... Or at least all of the ones that are on the PS4 compilations. I'm not actually gonna play through, uh... Coded and, uh... Uh, 358 over two days. I could just watch those. But that still leaves me with almost nine games to go through. Because there was the first one which I did, there's this, and then there's Kingdom Hearts 2, and then there's, uh, Birth by Sleep, and then there's Dream Drop, and a Fragmentary Passage, which is really short, but still there, and then three, so seven games. After you finish your other games, you're gonna get Persona 5. You've been meaning to play that one for a few months now. Yeah, well, uh... All I'm going to say is exercise caution if you plan on streaming it. Cuz, um... Oh, did I not say Dream Drop? I thought I said Dream Drop. See, so yeah, KH1, Chain, 
to birth. Dream Drop Fragment 7. So yeah, that's, that's seven titles to go through and three movies. Um, Atlas, oh, what do I mean, probably about the streaming thing, um, Atlas, uh, was being really weird about, uh, people posting up gameplay footage of the game up until a certain, up until a certain point. I don't know if it's changed very much since, uh, Sega officially took ownership of Atlas, but it was a huge, uh, it was a huge controversy when the game came out, when they started flagging LPers' videos and streams and stuff of uh, people playing the game up uh, beyond a certain point. Which they keep they keep raising the cap on where people can stream it to, but I think it's still probably a weird issue. I, I, it's been a while since I've looked at it, but it's something that I would consider looking into before uh, trying it, before doing it on stream. If anyone wishes to correct me if I'm wrong, feel free. Go, Goofy! I love watching Goofy do his thing. I really do. <laughs> Those Persona games are fun, though. Still gonna be a while but, uh, until you actually decide to get it. Ah, uh, that's fair. Okay, let's actually raise our health this time. There we go. That looks a lot better. That looks a lot- that looks a little bit more healthy. Oh, I think I've already opened you. So yeah, one of the bizarre gimmicks to this game, if you, uh, like, haven't seen it yet, is, uh... You go through this rather meta series of rooms, and, uh... When you get to one of these doors, you basically get to play a map card which determines what the room is. So they can be, like, rooms with enemies in it, or they can be rooms with items in it, or they can be save rooms, or... These yellow ones, which are story rooms. And, uh... That's basically how you go through these, uh, these worlds, I say with air quotes, because these are more so memories. Memories of the first game that are getting completely screwed with. By evil people. Uh, another game that you want is coming in July. What would that be? See, here we go. This is an unopened room, so we can play one of these red card. Well, it has to be of a certain uh, value. It has to have a five value or more, and you can see these values here. But uh, let's see here. We'll play. We'll give it a a roulette room. Sure. A room where a victory often roulette. Uh, oh no, I can't do a roulette room. It's only uh, worth five. That's not worth five. I, I should say. Hmm, how about we actually... Yeah, let's actually do a calm bounty. We've got a... We got a level five of those. And now we got a treasure room. And we will open it in the most stylish way possible. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> so much cooler than just tapping on it. A stop card. What on earth do you do? Uh... Like in the context of this game, anyway, I should say. Um... Halts enemy movement for a set time period. That sounds like it could be useful for some people. If that works on bosses, that's, uh... Something to keep in the back pocket, for sure. I don't have enough room to equip it, though, so... Ooh. Lady Luck?
Is that a room card? No, that is a... I think that's a, uh, a battle card. Or was it? Um... Luck be a lady tonight? Or was it a map card? Huh, it was something. I wonder... Yeah, it was, it, it, it was something. Alright, so how about for this one? This one requires a level 6 card or higher. We will make this one into a... Tranquil Darkness Room. I probably should be spamming my Treasure Room cards, but... I think I only have five or lower. So... Sorry, four or lower. Goofy, you fucked him up hard, man! Damn! Stagged in space. That is a card, I believe, where enemies just move super slow. So it's a benefit card for sure. Have you seen much of this series, or is it just something that you've always been kind of curious about? Because this is actually my legitimate first time actually playing through them. Kill a kill. Oh, that. Uh, kill a kill. The game. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Um, if it has a two free DLC characters, apparently. Okay, I I I have heard of it. Uh, but it is only kind of like I I have heard of it, but I kind of forget what it is. Uh, when I first heard of it, it actually kind of reminded me of uh, of an of another game called Killer Is Dead. So I, I thought it was like a sequel to it, but I don't think it is. Now that's one, uh, that's one little annoying thing about this game is, uh, because all the cards have numbered values, the enemy can break your card if they play a card that has a higher number than you. It works in vice versa, which is awesome. But, uh, sometimes things just don't go your way, and it's like, fuck. Oh, great, more anime games. <laughs> Tis a fighting game! does this thing do? Yeah. Nothing, apparently. Okay. Yeah. What was the point of that vine? At the beginning. I don't know if it's... I'm gonna... Um, uh, I'd have to look... I'd have to look at it again, but, uh... Does it actually look like Injustice? Ow. What am I doing? Oh shit, that's right, my high potion is a low level. What the heck were you doing there, Mr. Wah Wah Wah? Mr. Horn Person? That sounded like they were trying to be like the... the child version of T Charlie Brown's teacher? I do think it is more of- I think it is supposed to be more of a traditional fighter, though. Oh. 
Okay, I think that dude's summoning enemies. So I guess the I guess the real question is is it like a like when it, when it comes to like anime fighters if it's a tr if it's a traditional one is it kind of like a like an Arxis fighter like a, like an Arc System Works fighter like a, like Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear or is it a, something a little slower paced Um, what am I applying to you? Oh, you're like one of those weird gold brick rooms that I have no idea how to interact with. Um, so we do want to be here, though, because the other, the room that we do want is... Woo! Down here. Eh, let's actually go fight another dude first and open these presents. Ow. Oh, come on. Let's get goofy. Let's get silly. Uh, you'll get yellow cards from uh, time to time. There's usually decent treasure cards in there. I'm going to imagine so, but I haven't actually ever seen... Uh, them get dropped, so I'm going to imagine that they're super rare. Good thing you can revisit the worlds, I think. Uh-oh. You're healing the big- You're healing the fat ass! Stop doing that! I see what you mean by annoying enemies, Blind Daga. Put an end to Charlie Brown's teacher once and for all. There we go. Courage. That's okay, I didn't want to play that anyway. Yeah. Shit, I let that... I let that go. Although, I imagine this is actually a pretty good way to uh, grind in a continuous battle. Kind of like hordes in Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. Arc System Works is publishing that Kill a Kill game, but not developing it. It also says it's an arena fighter, so who knows. Personally, Blind Daga hates arena fighters, but maybe with Arxis involved, it could be something different. Because, yeah, like, next to Capcom um, and SNK... Arxis is, like, the the other big de facto, like, fighting game developer to come out of Japan. Because I've heard lots of good about Blaze Blue, um, and, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters just rocks all over the place. Like, it rocks some serious dragons. Woohoo, level up! Level up! Ow. You fool. Ow. Ow. You knocked me on my butt! Ow. There we go. A zero treasure room. 
All right, increasing the HP a little bit more, and then I might actually learn this world oh, this floor's slight move. That may have been a little overkill. <laughs> or not, there's still a guy left. Oh, now there isn't. Feeble darkness. Okay, 20? Oh, wow. These rooms are getting demanding all of a sudden. Um... Okay, so this level 9 stagnant space is going. Um, so is this level 2 one. Can't play the zeros here, obviously. Um, this premium room can go away, because the less I have to do with premium, premium rooms, the better. Premium cards will completely screw you if you're not careful. I almost fell into that trap until I found out that you can actually cancel out of the premium roulettes. Um, and, um... I need, uh, weak one. Uh... I'll get rid of the roulette room, and I'll get rid of Tranquil Darkness. And there we go. We can actually get in here. Send the card, soldiers. Do 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 do. Gorsh! Looks like some kind of get together. What's the occasion? It's actually more like a trial, I think. Hey, this must be the trial. White. Ra this must be the trial that White Rabbit was talking about. Alice, do you understand the chain, the charges against you? Of course not. I've done nothing wrong. I had to do the little arm thing that she does. I've done nothing wrong. You don't have, you don't have to be so, so mean. <laughs> uh, anywho, feigning ignorance, dear. Oh, the trial is technically a get-together. <laughs> Touché. You are charged with aiding the creatures called Heartless who threaten my kingdom. Fiddlesticks! Where's the evidence? <laughs> wow, that almost sounded like a gunshot. <laughs> the evidence is... I forgot! That's the evidence! Because I say so! Because you, Alice, are the one who stole my memory! Why can't- wait. We can't rid the kingdom of Heartless until we get Her Majesty's memory back! This is a serious crime! It's- it is so unfair! What is it- my, oh. So what if you're a queen? Don't blame me just because you can't remember things! Man, Alice has got some kahunas. Granted, this is this is more like memory Alice, but still. I guess that means that Sora remembers her as a strong female protagonist. Such insolence! You're talking to the Queen of Hearts! And to think I might let you might have let you go had you apologized straight away. What a bizarre thief! Who's the bizarre one? We say in defiance as we run over there. Uh, Sora. The court has reached a verdict. Off with her head! Hold it! This third is a. Wait, this trial is a farce. You should investigate before you arrest innocent people. Yeah, it's like playing Phoenix Wright without doing the investigation phase. What is the meaning of this? How dare you suggest Alice didn't steal my memory? I suppose you know who the real culprit is then? Huh? I, er, uh, 
uh, black hooded figures, they did it. Speak, or it's off with all your heads! Now, out with it! Who is the thief? Blah, 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 blah. It, it, uh, I'm the thief? What the fuck? Okay, that's different. Say that again? Gorsh, really? Of course not. But what else am I supposed to say? That's really screwy, Sara! Cards! Seize them all! Oh, I'll show you cards! I will show you cards, bitch! Oh, here's the combo! Ugh. I love doing that. So yeah, check this out, Blind Dog, if you can. I, I'm gonna wait for a second, and now I'm gonna pull it off. That was not a very good camera angle, but yeah. If you use Goofy during a slight, you get that little uh, quick time prompt. Also, I totally did not mean to use that heal! Oof. Let's try that again. But this time... For real. Alright. I do like using Cloud. Roar. Can I send more of them after me, huh? That's okay, I need a... I need a, a thousand and ninety-two more experience to level up. In which then case, I'll probably finally learn that, uh... That new slight move. Ah! Except I kinda let myself get killed there because I got too busy looking at my cards. <laughs> Multitasking, it's something that I am a little fiddly with in these games. Maybe what I'll do actually is boop boop. Make Cloud a little bit more reusable by not putting him at the front of the slight. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, that's cool. Combining Donald and Goofy produces a pretty neat little result, and you can control it. I like that. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> I am learning how to game this system, I feel. Yeah. You done. I said you dead. There we go. I say that, now my cards are all getting broken. There's the next set of buddies. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's okay, you broke my card as soon as it finished. So... No skin off my back. Whim. Oh, card soldier. Wonder what you do. Woo! Where's Alice? Looks like she escaped or got kidnapped. Perhaps you did, but perhaps she did, but you won't. Are we doing this again? I think we've been trumped. Run. Run out of the room so they can't follow us. They can't leave the confines of that one room. <laughs> okay, 226 Moogle points. I think if we had a Moogle card, this is when I would play it and uh, shop around a little bit. But I don't think I have any yet. And even if I did, they wouldn't be in my main deck. They would be in my map deck. No, I don't have any. Do have some more treasure rooms, though. What does this room like? This room likes rank 8 cards. I don't have any rank 8 treasure rooms, otherwise I'd probably convert it. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, do I? Actually? Even though this was already a treasure room? I have a 7-1, so yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it again. I would not be able to spam it. Um... Have I been in here before? I don't think I have. Wait, where does this one lead to? Yeah. Um... Well, I gotta go this way anyway, so... Six... Uh, meeting ground, sure. Uh oh, I got back shot there. I think that takes a small sliver of HP off of me, which makes sense and sucks. So, what I'm gathering with Donald here is he's basically the equivalent to Metronome. Power. Yeah. Heal. If you play two goofy cards in a slight, he does his normal thing. And that in itself isn't exactly a bad thing. It just means you can do it well, making it much, much more difficult to interrupt him. Courage. Or maybe it's combining two summons in a single slight that makes him do his normal move. Yeah. Either way, I'm almost seeing no reason to not incorporate buddies into slights because... It just makes them way more difficult to break. Not impossible, but definitely much more harder. Much more harder. I can grammar. 
I can grammar it up with the best of them. Hmm. There is the next event room, but I want to see what's in here. Actually, let's go into the event room before we start spending more cards. Um, okay, so a red card. So... We'll take out Feeble Darkness. And then something that equals to five. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, material Waking, a room where your attack cards are more effective. Haven't really been using that, but uh, we'll, we'll that, that one's exactly five, so... And then our Key of Guidance. Beow! Wow, we actually meet up with Alice this time. Things got a little crazy back there. But, at least you're okay. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but... Was that true? What you said? Are you the thief? What? No, of course not! Why would I steal the Queen's memory? Yeah! Sora said that because she wanted to save you! To show off! Fuck off, Donald! Is that right? Well, you saved me all the same. Thank you. Uh-oh, it's the Cheshire Cat! It's the Cheshire Cat! Is, is That's exactly what I said. Feeling better after that mad dash, are we? Oh, but you're not out of the woods yet. The Queen is a stickler for justice. She won't forget you till she remembers. She won't forget you until she remembers. That's just a weird thing to say. She won't stop hounding you till you get her memory back. Did she forget because she remembers? Does she remember that she forgot? It doesn't matter, I suppose. I don't know. I think we ought to just stay away from her. But Sora... Oh, but Sora. What about Alice? If the Queen catches her again, it's off with her, well, you know. Then I guess we better do something about it, about the Queen. You should do something, you should do something, but you don't have to do anything. Huh? If you can't... If you can't remember something, it's like it never happened. Likewise, if something never happened, you can't remember it. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. That's true. Lie. That's all I'll say. The rest is for you to figure out. And the key of truth. That means that we are close to being done this puppy. Yeah. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, that was nice. Exactly when I ran out of car- Oh, a Moogle room, finally! Moogle, 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 Moogle! What is that fire flower spitting out? It's not even a fire flower, it's just a fa flower firing something. Oh, shield bash! Ooh, encore? All right. Oh. 
Man, why couldn't you pop up more often like this when I was fighting other bosses, Goofy? Damn. I like what you've got to offer. Alright, a triple summon. And bottomless darkness. What on earth do you even do? And another Lady Luck. Ooh, I'm close to leveling up again in like 148, I think it said. And lasting days. Ha! Well, let's go to this other room. Actually, let's let's see where our map is telling us to go. It's telling us to go up there, but we haven't been to this room, so let's go to this room. Well, I think we have gone to this room, but oh no, no, we haven't. It's it's unmade. Unknown room. Um, so yeah. Moogle room. Except I can't because it's rank 5 and I need a 7. Um. I'll treasure room then. It's 8 o'clock, but I'm seeing a 10. Stylish chest opening. Ooh, I got a zero Simba. Ooh. That sounds like a... a fun one to have. Extremely easily breakable, but it's still a zero card. So that might be one for the slights. Uh, actually, what room are you? You are... Oh, you're, you actually go to the save room. I don't want to mess with you. Um, so now we want to go this way. Except I'm, I, I went this way anyway by mistake, because I'm good at reading maps. Even when they're laid out in front of me at the on, on, on the on the right corner, I'm still good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're at a place where we want to be. Um, I need a zero card. I've got a zero card and the this thing. Except before I apply that, I do want to actually hit up a Moogle room. So. That's going to require some conversion, except this is a level 7 room, and I need to go to a room that is level 5 or lower. So... Actually, no, this room... This room was a 0 room, so it... I... Okay, now it's a 6 room. Probably because I put a 6 in... No, wait. No, I didn't put a 6 in... Damn it all! Ah, whatever. Let's uh, let let's just let's let's just go to the last room and end it and see uh, if we even need the Moogle room. We'll just have it saved up for next world, as well as our new save, as well as our other save card. Gorsh, what's with the sudden change of scenery? Let's look around. Oh, D! 
dear. What? Oh, dear. Thought you'd seen the last of me, did you? Oh, do we actually have to fight her? Uh-oh. Game's up, scoundrels. For stealing my memory, I sentence you to... I sentence you to... I can't remember the word. Uh, uh, uh... I sentence... Uh, uh... Oh, what's going on? Where am I? Huh? What in the world am I doing? Confound it, I can't remember! What's wrong with her? Maybe somebody swiped her memory again. Sora, watch out! Something's coming! Hey, it's this thing! The giant paper mistake mustache arm creature. Is this what stole the Queen's memory? Okay, um... This is a very strange boss. Also, I've got the... I've got the table okay. Staying on this table might seem like a good idea because of that... Oh, except when the table disappears. Um... Okay, that was not close enough to, to him to make that work. Okay, note to self. High potions do not recover cards used in slights. Um... Oh, sh shoot! Alright, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think about what I'm doing here. Because this boss seems just a little strange. Don't need to see this again. Okay, he broke it. Um, that's not good. Maybe I should actually bring back my, uh, my Blizzard cards. Back off. Ooh, except no, because that didn't- that actually went through him. Heal. Um, he is teching everything that I throw at him. Um, okay. This... this presents a problem. Yeah. yeah, he's blocking everything. Um... I need to know... what I'm doing. Because, yeah, he just breaks everything that I... Hmm. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Let's just quickly examine my deck real fast, like. Also, I should see what the card soldier does. Um, Increases the swing speed of, an, of attack cards. Ooh. That sounds like it could be kind of useful. Uh, but you are, like, incredibly expensive. Um, hmm. Shortcuts? Um... I did not know there was a shortcut button. Hmm... That's kind of cool to know. I don't know what I would have signed it to yet, but... I like knowing that it's there. Hmm...
Alright, so what would one have to do about that boss, though? That's the thing that I need to discover, know, and find out. Because it seemed like no matter what I did, he was, like, he wasn't, like, breaking my cards in the normal way. He was, like, breaking them in the same way that people block stuff in the original game. So... Like, he was tech-blocking. Oh wait, that did damage. Maybe I just gotta hit him in a very specific place, I guess, and I guess that's what the table's for. Okay, yeah, I gotta- I just gotta hit him from really, really high. I think that is the, uh, the strategy here. Which means I can't attack him... ...from this, uh... Yeah. Wah! Okay, now that's how I got him. Okay, I just gotta get him- I guess I gotta get him in the- I gotta get him in his middle parts. Ooh, I got a Mickey! It's been a while since I've gotten a Mickey head. There we go. Now we're doing some. Now we're doing some. Da okay, yep. And this is just like in the in the main game, where he gets downed, and you just gotta wail on him as much as you can. All right. I think I've got this. Oh. Okay. I don't even have. To okay. That that was very strange. Then maybe I was just being really badly timed. Then because now he's just getting hit by things that I throw at him. Not like I'm going to complain. Courage. Oh, you suck. Let's try ice again. This is it. Okay, yeah, that, that, that does not work. Okay, yeah, that was bad. Oh! That was a weird way for me to not jump. Oh! He's throwing fireballs! Except that didn't work. Oh, shit. Although when he's down, it's also a good time to reload. Oh shit. Oof. Whatever, we got him. We got this fool. Yeah. 
And the best part is, we start our combo off with a zero. Whatever, we got him, famous words. Yeah, love you too, Rex. By the way, welcome to the strums. How was Metroid Prime 3's ending? Since I imagine you've gotten through that. Whoop! Take that, and that, and that! Oop. Wait, wait, must be patient, must be patient. Go away, card. Yes, there we go. Haha, <laughs> no, we got him. In fact, that was actually my first attempt on that- attempt on that boss. So, yay! He was officially the easiest thing ever, which is funny because I remember kind of hating his paper mache guts in actual Kingdom Hearts 1, and level up. Sweet! Good! Mildly disappointing given it was supposed to be the end of the Prime series, but still good. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. You know what my least favorite part is? I was really, really hoping that they were teasing something, because like, you know how between missions you can go into, like, when you're in Samus' spaceship and you can mess around with all the buttons and stuff? I was really hoping that that was going to give way to some kind of a space combat sequence by the time you get to the end, but it doesn't, and that made me really, really sad. I don't know if that was what you were hoping for, but that was what I was hoping for. Still think that game is cool as shit, though. Uh, so you, you, you thought the same, huh? All right, Strike Raid! Oh, that thing requires level 8 Kingdom Keys? Fuck you, I'm not using that one. <laughs> we had a long talk about that one, actually. Uh, well, at least I, 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 I can... I, can I, I wasn't there for it, but I can feel your pain. Because that's honestly what I thought when I first played Corruption. Here's hoping for Prime 4. I... I am... I, I, I know that that game is not coming out for a while, especially since it's literally being rebuilt from the ground up, but I am really looking forward to what they could do with a Prime 4, especially on such a much more higher-powered console. And it would also be super cool because they could make it so that you can use the traditional controls um, if you're playing with, like, the Pro Controller or if you're using it in complete handheld mode or do the motion control things if you're like, just with the Joy-Cons attached, I'm- it, it can result in a lot of cool shit. Especially since both controllers have exactly the same motion functionality, pointing and all. Excuse me, anywho. What is the meaning of this? Where did that creature come from? How would we know? So, you refuse to answer? You're hiding something. They're plotting against me! Seize them immediately, my- God, did we really remember this person being such a paranoid bitch? I mean, I guess it's true. I mean, we've all seen the movie. Um, please, your majesty, wait! Yeah, trying to temper your expectations. Yeah. But hey, Retro is working on it now, so... Ain't nobody know Prime like the people who made Prime, right? Anywho. It was you who, con who condemned us to... Uh, it was you who commanded us to destroy those creatures! Huh? Your Majesty, in your prudence, didn't you completely trust us at first? And so, your ma and so at your Majesty's command, we f uh, we fought them to prove ourselves. Isn't that right, Sora? Uh, we did. I mean, yeah, we did. Your Majesty, I I, I to told you to do that. But your Majesty, don't you remember? Don't be ridiculous! I never forget anything! Of course, I gave the command! You did splendidly! Psh. Everyone is full of shit! Granted, everybody here is a memory, but everyone here is so, f so full of shit, which I guess implies that Sora is full of shit. <laughs> uh. Alice! The memory of Alice! is smarter than the person who is remembering her. <laughs> uh, anywho. Uh, wait! Huh, no, that was close! Al Alice has anime eyes. 
This is drawn from Sora's memory. How did he not know how to play along? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot that part. <laughs> Sora's kind of a piece of shit. Uh. But the Cheshire Cat said so much. Try too hard to remember, and your memory might lie to you. The Queen would never admit she forgot, so instead, she remembered something that didn't happen. She ended up fooling herself. What is it, Sora? Uh, nothing. I just think you'd make a good politician there, Alice. Well, well, I guess uh, you'll be safe now. The Queen won't give us any more trouble. After all, we got rid of the Heartless, just as she commanded. Don't tell me you've been fooled too! <laughs> so, now it's time- oh, oh my god, there are present boxes everywhere. I like present boxes. Why can't these be in all the levels, or- ha Well, I guess they've always been there, it's just their present boxes here, it's just they've been, like, breakable things in previous levels, but... Yep, up we go, up on top of the obligatory end-of-stage ladder. And then we shall save, and then uh, time for more story nanigans! Hopefully there's actually gonna be something substantial this time around, because last time, it was just them talking about memories. They're in all the worlds. Some of them have cards in them. Yeah, I kind of remember, because, like... <laughs> You're still... <laughs> You're still in a dream! Alright, here we go. So what, Edgar? I just said out to remember about that I should go on it. She had Just boobs. And pieces. Like her boobs. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. Well, uh... She was quiet. And always drawing. When we'd go to the beach... Oh. She'd draw a picture instead of swimming. Sometimes she'd draw us, too. She was really good. I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. But one day, she was gone. Just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. They might even have tried to explain some of it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying after she was gone. She's a witch! We have to burn her! <sighs> That's all. I still don't remember her name. Oh, I bet you'll remember it in no time! <sighs> I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. So we should forget in order to remember? Like those guys said, our most precious memories lie so deep in our hearts that they're out of reach. All that stuff about finding, being losing, and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they meant. Gore, Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Come on, Goofy! Let's get going! We gotta forget things faster! <laughs> what the fuck, Donald? We gotta forget things faster? <laughs> oh. You are a... You are a creature. <laughs>